So, so many of you um, have had John sing at your parties and uh, he is just so wonderful. Um, but let's start at the very beginning. So you were born in the north of England, near Blackpool, I do believe. In and, Blackpool I was, yes. Ah, there you go. And your interest in music started quite young, about the age of six. So at that time, what instruments were you playing then? Uh, yeah, I, to, I don't know if I actually put uh, this on my website, but um, I, I was adopted and my, my parents were very humble. So they didn't have much money, they couldn't afford, you know, expensive teachers and that, but they were very resourceful. And when I was a toddler, my mum noticed that I would be singing the, uh, the theme tunes to either adverts or, or television programs before they came on. And she thought, you know, he, I think he's got a talent, what can I do? So being in the north of England, we had brass bands. So she took me down to the local brass band. The conductor laughed. I was about six years old. You know, what are you bringing him for? And uh, he, he started me on the tenor horn. Then I moved on to the cornet. And uh, he soon kind of changed his tune. And he took me under his wing. He gave me music lessons, theory lessons for free because he just could see something in me until and then he said well you you know he needs to learn the piano as well so I think I was about nine I learned starting learning, learning the piano and uh, I did lots of what they used to call slow melody contests where I, uh, you have the examiners uh, they have a curtain in front of them so they can't see who's playing and you go on a whole lot of people and then they, they mark you, you know, player number 10 and what have you. And I had a whole lot of cups and trophies and all this sort of thing. So even though I didn't understand being a professional and making a living, it was just what I did. John, John was the guy who didn't play rugby. He, he played the piano and he played the trumpet, you know. So that, that's the early years anyway. So can yeah. I just ask you, um, yeah. you, were, you were playing brass stuff and then yeah. can I talk about what happened in your life that changed everything? You can, yes. So you want me to uh, would tell you? you like, or... Yeah, would you like to talk yeah. about that? Yes, yeah, so I wasn't quite sure how far we got. So when I was about 11, that uh, gentleman, Tom Birch, the conductor, he said, well, I, I can't teach him anymore. And... Um, Again, being very, very resourceful, my, my mum went and looked at all these grants and scholarships she got, could get. And I auditioned to go Saturday mornings to the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester. I uh, got in and uh, I had my lessons there, you know, learned theory, composing, everything. Uh, singing, choirs, piano. And I had to change from the, uh, the cornet to the trumpet. Uh, which was pretty tricky because the cornet and the trumpet, the cornet looks like a shorter version of the trumpet, but in the brass band, there's a tradition of having this kind of vibrato, you know, type thing. It's just naturally what everyone learns to do. And uh, for the first term I was there, I remember the trumpet teacher, he just had me on long notes. Very soul destroying, you know. Here I was at this music college, and all I had to, to get my tone, trumpet tone. Uh, it obviously worked because um, I must have been about 16, and uh, I did my grade eight trumpet, and I did a recital of Haydn's Trumpet Concerto at the Royal Northern College of Music. Um, and then two weeks later, I was being an idiot with my mate on a bike and uh, lost control went over the top of the bike and a bike spoke, went right through my lip and I was rushed to um, Blackpool Victoria Hospital and uh, the doctor put stitches in I do remember this and he said if you'd have been an hour later I wouldn't have um, been able to see you because it's Glasgow weekend and as he said that all these Glaswegians were being pulled in you know there were hammers in their heads and all sorts of things that went on uh, so I was extremely lucky um, I came home and I looked like the elephant man 
And I was sat there feeling very sorry for myself when the letter came through the door saying, you have got distinction, grade eight trumpet, mm. which was very sour, you know. But you see, things happen for a reason. Because I still play the trumpet a bit now. I've kind of got my, my lips, my chop, what we call our chops. I've got my chops back now. Um, but I maybe wouldn't have been come, become a singer and a keyboard player and a, a pianist. I would have been still trying to be a trumpet player playing in symphony orchestras, which would have been great, but it opened up a whole new world to me, really. 